I'm Kim Naples. I'm the editor of Cura. I'm going into my senior year. Um, I got involved in Cura uh, in March of my sophomore year. I used to be um, club president and poetry editor for the Ampersand. And um, Professor Gambito emailed us and just wanted us to get together and talk about, um, she wanted to get all the literary magazines, the Observer, the rare section together too, and talk about you know, how we were working as literary magazines and we met and we all got together and we kind of came to a consensus that we really weren't working. Um, we were low in membership, readership, and submissions and we kind of, you know, we loved what we were doing but we all wanted to do more. So Professor Gambito presented this idea of, um, it wasn't called Cure yet, but you know, an online literary magazine run by students and um, based in, you know, art in action. So I was totally blown away by how great this idea was and also that a professor, like a really great professor, was taking such an interest in her students and um, I've never actually taken a class with her and I didn't know her so I was like, you know, she doesn't even know me and she wants to work with me. It was so exciting um, and I just wanted to be a part of it right from the very start. So. Um, you know, the next few weeks, few months were, you know, kind of stressful, getting everything up off the ground, brainstorming, a lot of time spent on the phone, but it was all just, you know, I, I was learning so much, just um, at the very beginning, learning, um, you know, communication skills definitely honed in, and, um, you know, organizing, so right away, um, I was learning a lot, and then when we finally got everybody together, got our staff together. I was really excited that I got to be involved with graduate students because I never really um, ex had experience with them before. They always kind of intimidated me. So it was really exciting to work with them. And, you know, I've never really come across a community like the students who work on Cura. We're all so united in our passion for literature, poetry, art, and politics. So, um, you know, it was like I, every time I sent out an email or got back from a meeting or like a call, you know, I was like, wow, this is so amazing that I'm involved in this and I feel so lucky and, you know, it's really, I still am, I'm still amazed that, you know, on my resume I can write editor. <laughs> um, so, you know, as, like I said, I learned, you know, outside learning how to, you know, how to edit, um, just like copy editing, formatting, um, you know, I learned interpersonal skills, I learned managing skills, communication, and I feel like those are invaluable and I wouldn't have learned them in a traditional classroom. So, you know, Kira was really special for me in that I got to learn these skills that I feel like not many people coming out of Fordham have them, so I would love to have more students included in Fordham, that's what I'm hoping we're going to do um, next year. We're going to get Kara out, not only in the Fordham community, but outside, um, you know, nationally, internationally as well. Um, I'm really sad to see Naima and Matt go because I just love working with them so much. Um, Naima has really become a really good friend of mine and we're definitely staying in touch. But, um, you know, not only was I able to learn from Professor Gambito, who, you know, she's a professional, um, but also from Naima, who's really been around the, um, the practical publishing world more than I have. And, like, she, you know, she's a great writer. And, you know, just, like, to learn from my peers in that level was really something I never even thought possible to, you know, an undergraduate like myself. And, um, you know, especially since last year I was a junior and, you know, I was like, this is really rare that I, you know, have an opportunity like this and I wish, you know, more people could experience it. And I think that it's something that's really going to make Fordham stand out um, because it's just like real life practical experience that, you know, you can't get by just reading and writing in the classroom. And it's just so much fun. You just, I have had so much fun with everyone on my staff and everybody's so passionate and excited and they just, you know, we really love Kira and, um, you know, it's just like a great learning experience that 
I, you know, it's hard to describe, but it was, it was really great. I really, I liked it.